Good morning, guys. So I just wanted to get on here and introduce myself because I've had some more people uh, start watching my Weight Watchers journey. So my name's Sierra. I am 22 years old and I'm a nursing student. And I started my journey in January of this year, 2020. And so far I have lost 36 pounds, a little over 36 pounds on Weight Watchers. So here's a video I'm gonna do today. Um, it's just gonna be a, not just about my food and everything, but it's gonna be about other things I do today just to be fine. I'm gonna try to get my fiance in the video, but we'll see how that goes. Okay guys. Seriously, don't judge me. But I'm about to show you what I'm gonna have to conquer after I'm done eating breakfast, okay? Okay, Look these are all clean clothes. <laughs> Before me and Tyler went on his trip, I cleaned up all of our laundry and then I packed our bags. I didn't have time to put it all up or anything because I was in my finals um, for the week for nursing school right before we went on vacation. So this is about four loads of laundry. You see most of it's towels and blankets anyway, but um, I'm gonna have to conquer putting this up. This is probably gonna take me like an hour, maybe even longer, if it'll even fit in our closet because our we have so many clothes. Really, I have a lot of clothes. But yep, that's gonna be what I'm conquering after breakfast. So let's see how I do. Okay, so I'm going ahead and right here and taking some of my espresso and I'm using it to make my coffee because I didn't have my French press made. Alrighty guys, so now I'm fixing to figure out what I'm going to do for breakfast. Um, I think I'm just going to go with like a traditional breakfast kind of thing. I think I'm going to do some scrambled eggs, um, maybe with like a slice of toast and some turkey bacon. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so I decided to make like a breakfast sandwich. Um, I'm going to warm up some turkey bacon in the microwave and I'm going to do like one of those breakfast sandwiches I've seen before like on TikTok. So they like lay the eggs down and they lay the bread on top and like flip it all together. I'm gonna try that. So I just got this seasoning in Fredericksburg. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this seasoning in with my egg. It's a little spicy. I actually just made an order for a couple more of their seasonings. So they're coming in. All right, so I already flipped over the sandwich and put cheese on top. My fiance had called me and I didn't want my eggs to burn. And I warmed up two pieces of bacon in the um, microwave. So I'm just gonna lay that over the top. And then I have the other piece of bread right here and I'm just gonna lay that right here. And I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit. I want the cheese to melt. Okay, so this is hot coffee, hot espresso. I'm putting it over ice. It's gonna melt some of the ice, obviously. But, and plus the protein's cold because I don't like hot coffee. I only like cold coffee, but I didn't make my espresso this morning. Honestly, I probably shouldn't even be drinking this because I've had like a UTI for like four weeks. But I'm gonna drink it anyway because I need my coffee when I'm about to do all that laundry. So here's what it looks like. All right guys, so I told y'all I was gonna let y'all know, you know, keep you updated on my day to day. So you know how I had that big thing of laundry on the bed? Well, I had to stop doing it because this one right here doesn't feel good. So he's getting tested for COVID. So I rode with him. I'm a good fiance, right? Okay, so we finally got Tyler tested. So now we're just waiting for results. And we went to Walmart and I'm starving because it's three o'clock and all I had today was that like five point breakfast. So I'm eating a piece of fried chicken. I'm gonna just count this as five points because it's not much. I just need something in my stomach because I have to go and pick up my book for my parents' house, and then I'll be heading back to my apartment and I'll eat some like veggies and fruit and stuff. How's the laundry going? Oh, God. <laughs> no. Tyler, where are we going? Mailbox. Where are we going to the mailbox? Package queen. <laughs> my barbecue seasoning I was talking to y'all about, it delivered early. This is what I just got out of the mail. Um, you know how I've been showing in a couple of my videos that I've been using this one, the special S-H-I-T seasoning? Well, I ordered these off of um, a barbecue website and it was actually like $5 cheaper for like just an ounce smaller. So that's not bad, honestly. So I got the Bull S-I-H-I-T and the Good S-H-I-T. I don't know why I'm spelling okay, that Okay, Tyler, what am I getting you to do? You tell me. Okay. 
So I got these three seasonings in. I already had this one that I got in Fredericksburg on my vacation, but I ordered these two. So I'm gonna get Tyler to close his eyes and I'm gonna mix these up and I'm just gonna put his hand and let him feel each three. And whatever one he picks is what we're gonna season our chicken with. This one right here is kind of spicy. So I'll tell you what, what they kind of are. So this one is an all purpose seasoning. So it's for vegetables, seafood, really anything. It's kind of spicy. And we have this one. This one is for steaks. Um, yeah, it just says it's for steaks. It says, yeah, it's just for steaks. And then we have this one. And this one is a sweet, it's more sweet. So I'm gonna mix them up and let's see which one we end up with. Tyler, close your eyes. All right, so we're gonna do something fun. I'm gonna let Tyler cook. Mm. How do you feel about that, baby? I don't know. You always cook. I know. How do you feel about cooking? You're cooking me food. I haven't cooked you food before. Don't act like I haven't cooked before. I know, but I'm the one that always cooks. Because you like to. Okay, anyway, so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna do this cool thing, okay? So I've seen, have y'all seen these where people are pulling, pouring uh, these Nor rices into the bottom stuff? Well, I have two different types of noodles. I mean, why not? Let's just see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we might go and get fast food. So we're just gonna see how this works. All right, so go ahead, Tyler. What am I doing? Getting two of these again? No, pouring these bags in there. Pour the bags in first? Yeah. Mm. But don't go too slow. Okay. Cool. There are two different types of noodles. And, okay, so I scanned the bags of these, and it says it's eight, cup, eight points for a cup, but that's when you're using regular milk. I'm using almond milk, so I'm just going to count a cup as, what the heck? That doesn't even look right. That looks weird. Why do I think those were squares? Oh, well, whatever. It even shows squigglies on the bag, you blind ass. And don't cuss. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um... Yeah, baby, you don't have to do that. You're about to pour liquid in there. Okay, let me so, get it going. So we're going to pour one cup of almond milk. That's all we're pouring in milk, Tyler. Okay. This is unsweetened almond milk. Gross. So when you boil it, it's supposed to be um, a half cup for stop, a half cup for each thing. <laughs> pour one in at a time and then mix it up. All I have to do, this is one cup. That's oh, all I need. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> pour it yeah, in. gee. Put, yeah, I'm going to put two of these in there. Okay, don't do that. I gave you a spoon. Oh, I need a spoon. I can just shake it. No, you can mix it up with the spoon, That's baby. Right. I'll use the spoon. Is this my spoon? Yes, baby. No, I spoon. It's for the instant pot. Yeah, we're gonna uh, need a rice cooker. That's what I meant. Okay, go ahead and pour the water. Pour some water in there. Yeah. All right. So, no, use the measuring. This is two cups exactly. I measured it. I don't want to put two cups of water. I'm going to put one cup of water in there. The first one I can right see there is you one cup. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, my God. You could have just measured this. Where's the fun of that? Fine. Mix it. No, 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 do you think we're gonna need two cups? Oh, I don't know. Well, no, because the chicken's gonna have its own juices. Oh yeah, the chick. So we'll just put one cup. So we put one cup of milk, one cup of water. Mm -hmm. So we put the meat in there while it's raw, right? We're just gonna do it. Mix all this up though, because that's all the cheesy part, and we don't want all that on one side. I'm worried. <laughs> you worried? You're worried? Why? It just smells like steaks. <laughs> Oh, well, that's what you picked. Okay, so I need you to hurry and season the chicken. You know what? I'm trying to make myself, I don't know. I don't want to make a mess. Okay, you're good. So, yeah, you put the... put the lid back on for me? Oh, sorry. I wanted to smell it. Okay. So, you think our chicken's going to smell like, or taste like steak? I'm worried. <laughs> 
You're being kind of chinchy with that seasoning, boy. Do you want it to taste like a freaking beef fajita? No, but I need it to have some flavor. That season doesn't seem like it's working at all. No, you gotta open up the all out for it. There we oh, go. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Well, you were just saying chinchy. Okay, well now you gotta dip it. I would just say lay them on top of the chicken. I mean, on top of the noodles. You were just talking about how chinchy I was. Don't be complaining about how much season I'm using now. Wow, that's a waste. No, oh, it's not like this. Mm -hmm. Man, that is strong. That's gonna make me sneeze and people are gonna think I have corona. Can't really, sorry guys. I can't get a good video because his hands are in the freaking way. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, that's better. Yeah. Okay, I'll put them in, baby. You think the noodles are gonna grow around them? I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> We're putting some chicken flavor on there. He's Please. worried. So yeah. he's we're putting some cheese, chicken boubon. Boubon? Boubon. Some. To give it some more flavor because he's worried that it's not going to taste good. Yeah, yeah. Don't let that ball fall out. Don't tell me. Okay. So we'll let you know what this looks like when we, when we check on it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you let it come out. Accident. <laughs> yeah, problem solved. Okay, so we'll let you know what this looks like when we take it out of the oven to check on it or when it's done. So now I'm getting Tyler um, to make our roasted veggies. So we're not just going to have the chicken with the noodles because I can't eat a lot of noodles. Well, I mean, I can, but I'm not going to because, you know, Weight Watchers. So I have some prepped um, broccoli and some asparagus left over. He's going to mix it up and use some of this stuff right here. Damn fly. <laughs> I can't. He's using some of this one. This one's sweet. Well, we figure we use the good shit instead of the special shit because we need to have something good for dinner if we're having steak fingers with chicken. <laughs> You're so dumb. Yeah, might as well have something good. If that other stuff doesn't turn out good, look at all the veggies. Oh, <laughs> well, tell me what to do. <laughs> That's pitiful. What is that? Half a piece of I, have, I have some more in the fridge if you want to take them out. Do you want to put more? What, do you want more? Well, do you want, are you going to eat any? I don't know, maybe. Well, then we probably should have more. <laughs> be careful, be grimy. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think they're still okay, though. Is that normal? I don't know, actually. I think they're still, they have a little bit of a scent. <laughs> well, I mean, that's asparagus. That that's, what I, a scent. that's what I think. They look okay. But I want asparagus, so... Just to lay this out. Yeah, just mix them up. Oh my god, you're wasting my seasoning. Why are you using the big spout? Um, I'm using the little holes. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, that's good. Mix it. Now spray some spray on top. Just a little. You're cool. <laughs> you dummy! I don't need to be sprayed. Well, season me up. Hmm. Okay, no, you mix it with your hands. What is that going to do? You don't see the asparagus rolling around? Hey, I'll get it. Hey, hey, add it down here. Can you see what they look like? Stop for a second. They look pretty seasoned. Spray a little bit more. Some of this broccoli is like... Oh, okay, fine, here. No, spray, not sprinkle. Oh. No, no, don't put that much oil. That's good. I'm gonna spray you again? No, you're okay, good. Then. Oh, that's good, baby. All right, guys. So when dinner is done, we will show you what it looks like. Burnt my asparagus. It doesn't look burnt, it looks crispy. It's burnt. It's okay, crispy. So this is the finishing product. I mean, he did burn my asparagus pretty much, but the pasta bake looks so good. We did have to add a little bit more water. I would say about a half cup more, just to make sure that um, it cooked all the way, but look how good that looks. So if we have dessert, I'll show that. If not, we'll see. Alrighty guys, so there's not gonna be any dessert tonight that I know of yet, but I'm not hungry. That really filled me up. I mean, the chicken tasted like beef jerky, like we said, but it was good dipped in some um, barbecue sauce, so.
Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. I appreciate it. I'm going to try to get him into some more videos. Good luck.